Hello and welcome to A-Level Business um, presentation um, to give you a little bit of information about the course um, and the bridging work. So firstly, to let you know that we're going to be using the Edexcel exam board. Uh, we are changing from using EduQuas, so just in case you have um, friends who have taken um, business here before, we are going to be doing a slightly different course, but it's one that myself uh, and Mrs Lewis um, have both taught before, um, and we um, are changing because it's really a more popular um, course. There's many more um, schools and students taking this across the country. Uh, so it will give a little, us a little bit um, more uh, support in the way of being able to share resources with other teachers, um, etc. So we're, we're going to be changing to Edexcel. Um, the entry requirements are um, a five if you've taken um, business either here or at another school. Um, and then we would like you to have a five in maths and a five in English. Uh, there is quite a lot of maths on this course. It's, it's business math, so um, it's going to be um, bit, uh, maths that we can apply to a context um, and to a business. So uh, we're going to be using statistics, maybe creating a, a percentage change, or we might be calculating um, profit or comparing uh, profit, um, or we might be looking at how competitive a business is um, against another one. So it's um, reasonably simple um, maths, um, but there's quite a lot of formulas to, to learn and to, to remember. Um, so it's good to have a five or above. Um, and when, in terms of English, there's quite a bit of essay writing in, in this exam board. Um, there's a number of essays on um, on the exams that you'd take at the end of the course. Uh, and here are me and Mrs Lewis that we're both the teachers uh, for the A-level course. Uh, a link to the specification for you if you want to have a look at that in any more detail is there. Um, then we have a little look here at the course content um, that you can look at in more detail or in the specification if you wish. But really here we have four themes, theme one and two is taken in year one. And really here we're looking at um, the business basics um, and sort of more, more sort of looking at uh, starting up a business, uh, looking at sort of entrepreneurs, marketing, uh, customer needs. We're looking at demand, supply. Uh, and then also the um, more of the mathematical side, which is raising finance and, um, and, and managing resources, uh, etc. So that's year one. And then when we move on to year two, um, we look here more at um, businesses growing. Um, so we look more at international and, uh, and multi um, national corporations. Um, so we're looking at not just how they grow, but why they grow um, and how that impacts the decisions they make. Um, and then we look at this in relation to globalisation. Um, so how businesses can operate across the world. How are you assessed? Well, there are three papers. Paper one um, and two are reasonably similar. 35% of the marks are taken with paper one and two. Paper one will assess you on themes one and four together, and you'll have some case studies and, and some data, uh, and then you will have a two hour exam to, to answer those questions. And the same for paper two there, but it's going to test you on themes two and three. Paper three is slightly different uh, in that you get some pre-release material. Now, what that is, um, is actually um, some information about a particular industry. So a few years ago, the um, pre-release was all about the chocolate industry. So it will give um, a variety of different sources of, of data uh, and in information from, um, from this industry, sort of hot topics and different statistics, graphs, tables, 
um, and some um, information about different businesses there. And we have a bit of time to have a look at that and prepare ourselves so we're familiar with the, the industry and the market before we go into that exam. Um, and the exam for this um, will test you uh, on your business knowledge um, across all four themes. So it's, it's a synoptic paper, it expects you to, to draw on um, all your understanding of business. Uh, and that's another two hour paper. This one's worth 30% of the mark. So, uh, so no um, coursework at all, it's all exam based. Um, so where can business take you um, afterwards? Um, well, you may have already sort of thought about this really um, it, uh, as you've decided to take uh, business as an A-level. Um, but really, um, there's so many different courses that you can do at university uh, if that's your direction. Um, you know, different sort of management, marketing, accounting, HR, um, you know, you kind of can choose really the area that you are most interested in or you could do a broader degree just in business. Um, um, but now um, apprenticeships are actually uh, a very favourable um, option, particularly for um, business um, students. Um, and many students that we've, we've seen across uh, our years have um, have taken this route, and they're, they're they are very competitive actually, um, and and they can um, result in some really highly successful um, placements. So these apprenticeships can be very good, and we've put accountancy and finance there. But actually, uh, there's all sorts of other avenues that you can explore too, uh, and just put you a little graph there to show you how business is, is quite a good earner when it comes to uh, subjects to take for university. Um, and uh, if you enjoy it, you could also look at, um, you know, uh, the economic sort of side of um, the course too. So what do you need to bring to the lessons? Just a few bits that you can sort of prepare in advance. Um, so this little picture actually shows quite a, a nice array of, of things that you might want to have for your A-levels generally. Um, but these things are going to be useful for you um, to bring along in September. Um, and it, obviously it's up to you how you organise yourself um, and you'll be using uh, much more of a laptop um, that you've maybe been used to lower down the school. Um, so thinking about how you're going to organise yourself with your computer and your uh, and your laptop too. Um, and the textbooks and revision guides, we will send you information about that um, in due course. Um, so don't worry too much about that. Just suffice to say that they are available um, to purchase the revision guides. Um, but we'll just have a little look to see which ones we're going to recommend for you and we'll send that out to you so you can buy those in advance. Then lastly, a little talk through the bridging work here. Um, now, the bridging project really is reflecting a number of different sort of skills, really, that you're going to need for your A-level. So we've got some key terms for you to learn that are important for your uh, basic understanding of the, the uh, sort of some of the topics in, in theme one there. We've also got some math skills um, to complete, um, some percentages and percentage changes. Now, they are some basic maths um, skills that you're going to need on this course. Um, and they will be uh, required of you in exams quite a lot of the time they ask you to, to calculate the a percentage or a percentage change. Uh, there's some reading to do and some notes to, to make on entrepreneurs um, and um, that uh, you'll often find that there, there is pre-reading to do before a lesson. So that will give you some practice with that. Uh, and then we want to start by having a little look at your essay skills. So there's an essay title here. To what extent do you agree, agree with the following statement? Business success is down to having a good idea. Um, so 
what we want you to do is really uh, be able to argue a point here. So argue a point as to why it is all about having a good idea and then maybe having um, a counter argument to that as to maybe is there something else that's more important to business success. So um, you probably need to do around about a page, uh, no more than two sides, certainly of, um, of written uh, A4. Um, if you were handwriting it or if you're typing it, probably no more than a page of A4. Uh, and that's worth 10 marks there. If there's any questions about that, then please obviously do email us and we can help you with that. And then we've also said alongside um, this, um, we would expect you to take an interest in current business uh, news and current affairs, um, uh, the you know general um, economic climate would be useful as well. Um, and you know you might get to be able to watch some um, TV um, programs because business has a huge um, wealth of business um, related programs at the moment. So um, it could be that you just have a little look at a Dragon's Den or there's a, a new one called um, The Money Maker on Channel 4, which is worth a look. Um, and they're always really useful to um, support your business learning. Um, so lastly, if you have got any questions, either about the bridging work or the course itself, then please do feel free to email me or Mrs Lewis at any point and we can help you. OK, we look forward to seeing you in September um, and best of luck um, between now and then.